Finally tonight, you're about to meet a cancer survivor who is paying it forward to others. Like so many people, his diagnosis came unexpectedly, but he survived it and now he's helping others deal with this disease. That's why we've chosen him as this week's Salt of the Earth. My name is Bart Frazita. Uh, I'm a Catholic by tradition. Spent 16 years in the Catholic education system. And so I had an athletic scholarship at St. John's as well as meeting my wife at St. John's. She was my college sweetheart. We've been married 46 years. We have two daughters. They're married to their first husbands. <laughs> and They've given us seven grandchildren. Spent 40 years in my employment life in the insurance and reinsurance industry. Been the CFO of major reinsurance companies. And in January of 1999, decided to reduce my work schedule, being the CEO of a US operation of an international consulting firm. The idea was to work five years and then retire. But his plans were interrupted. And lo and behold, in December of 1999, I was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. Went through chemo radiation, which was 24 hours a day, five days a week for six straight weeks, and radiation during the same time. Literally, every plan that you had, every thought process of what you're going to do in the next five years gets cut in half that you, knew you may not be here. So I felt if I brought a spiritually sound person to the experience, if God was on my side, if God sat on my shoulder and we went through this together, that that would help me through it. It would be easy for me to write a check and say thank you for what Sloan Kettering had done for me. But in reality, I wanted to do something, wanted to give something back. I felt that there was so much anxiety in preparing for surgery that the best place for me to be would be prior to that, meeting patients as they were learning about the cancer. And we worked out a plan where I would be part of the initial team that would talk to a new patient coming with this cancer. The thought was these poor people were subject to the same problem that I was. And how could I make their journey better? How he did that was through a remarkable and innovative program called Patient to Patient. Patient to Patient program is a program here at Sloan that focuses on volunteers coming back to walk the journey with patients who have been through the disease that they went through. And there are probably about 50 or 60 people now participating in that program. The patient to patient program really deals with the body. And it's really explaining to the patient what we went through, our experience, and hopefully they gain some strength, some comfort, less anxiety as they go through the process. The potential of not being here tomorrow still sits in the back of my mind. And it is still there. Uh, I still take CAT scans, now it's every two years, and that time period, a week or so before that scheduled event, your mind says, what happens if there's a recurrence? What happens if they find something? How will that change me? What will I do? Where's my focus? Where's my direction? And I take solace in knowing that uh, my prayer life is good, and whatever God's plan for me, well, that's what we'll live with. It's not an end, it's a journey. And, and you're going from point A to point B, but it's not to say that you can go on whether here or after. It's, it's a continuation, it's not an ending. And it's hard to get that to a patient who doesn't have God as part of his life. And if he has God, or a lot of patients will turn to God because they don't know where else to turn. But if you've, you've been part of that process all your life, it's, it's, you're not turning to them, you're, you're asking, all right, where do we go from here? And leave it in his hands.